Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Creative Careers. Today we are going to look at uh, Buddhist architecture of Stupa, Chaitya and Vihara for your JE paper 2 and Nata exam. So last year a lot, uh, one of the question was around Stupa and all. So we'll cover Buddhist architecture as much as possible and I'll be giving you the homework. You have to do it to work on your test and uh, at the end of every week we will be taking a quiz so whatever topic till then i have covered you will get a quiz mock questions and uh, i will only answer it but try to solve it by yourself in the first sense then we'll look go through the whole thing again and uh, we'll check what was the right answer and all so as like this it will be helpful for you so i'm giving you basic theory now so most of the buddhist architecture is rock cut architecture then what i mean by rock cut architecture is um these were the caves like they didn't had any pillars columns sort of structures there were no load bearing structures they digged any huge rock rock or a mountain and they uh, started dwelling inside it so these were rock cut architecture okay and influenced from vedic architecture but vedic architecture was not of uh, rock cut it was a wooden based architecture so most of this uh, built architecture of buddhist architecture is influenced by vedic architecture okay so uh, there are three types of uh, building typology in buddhist architecture the first one being chaitya next being vihara and third being stupa we'll understand what all these uh, chaitya is nothing but a, a prayer hall or a worship room okay so uh, it usually has an elongated hall and it uh, in the most of cases it is found in caves so it it was a cave but they followed this uh, wooden architecture wooden rib structures so one of the chaitya uh, i'm showing you a plan here they usually had this u-shaped plan with a vaulted roof okay just see the section the center there is a stupa all the chaitya did not have a stupa but uh, sorry, uh, they worshipped stupa because they were relics. Okay, we'll, we'll see what are stupas as well in the. So they had huge hallways where they can sit and worship. This was uh, Chaitya. So this is a Karla Chaitya plan of the Karla Chaitya. At the down, I'm showing you plan and the top, it's the section. Okay, that is the vaulted roof. Okay, a vaulted roof is nothing but when an arch continues uh in a single line that becomes a vault and it, the roof it covers is called as a vaulted roof okay so it has a vaulted roof and this uh, karle chaitya has a lion pillar in the front which is our uh, national emblem right four pillar uh, sorry uh, four faced lion and ashoka stamba so this has that ashoka stamba in front of it only two uh, chaityas have uh, ashoka pillars one is karle of course another being kaneri okay uh, so important chaityas are of course karle barbara caves kaneri chaitya elora cave number 10 and cave ajanta cave 9 also have chaitya halls but uh, we are not sure they were only for buddhists or there are also reasons they might be of jaini jainese uh, jainism as well okay so these um, cave at Aljanta follows very similar structure to what I showed one in the Kaneri, uh, sorry, Karle Chaitya. So this is the homework number one. Go and study these Chaityas or whatever Indian Chaityas you get. Your quiz is going to be based on all that wherever these Chaityas lie and uh, in what heritage they are like UNESCO heritage and all. So what are Viharas? Viharas are nothing but uh, these are a, it had a central hall along with it had few rooms for people or monks to stay in while they will be traveling because Buddhist monks used to preach their lessons they used to travel from one uh, one part of uh, one part to another part so in between they had these uh, dwell their dwellings which were called as Viharas okay so they had a central hall uh, and uh, various cellars which uh, where they can uh, rest and even they can sleep with the beds and all okay so these were viharas again same work please check out the viharas of india and uh, 
understand it there there won't be much questions on vihara as far as i guess but not sure about it but it's your duty you have to learn third one being stupas stupas are uh, commemorative monuments by commemorative monuments i mean uh, when these uh, when buddha died no he sat in the yogic state and he died so around him they built a mound and earlier also in vedic period the saints used to be buried in a, a dome shaped mounds okay uh, so where they keep something um, relics of buddha or any saint and they use that thing for worship in uh, buddhism okay this uh, this has a circular base plan and it has a mound on top of it so stupa is nothing but a circular cylindrical dome like structure okay so important stupa is sanchi stupa i have shown you the elevation and the plan uh i know the drawing is really really bad but please go and check it out uh, i couldn't draw because i have done it in very quick time so this is sanchi stupa the important parts being the when in look at the elevation the top part where the those three uh, antenna kind of structures are standing the, that is called as a chatrasa that tip of the chatrasa is the axis pillar tip okay then uh, below it uh, there uh, there were stone uh, pillar tiny pillars uh, which was influenced from vedic architecture again where uh, they used to make uh, these uh, wooden compounds compounds with the wooden structure so they followed the same uh, design and they put it in the stupa uh that became the top just below the chatrasa became the harmika and the mound is called as anda because that follows that shape of a egg by anda i mean the egg and uh, the the there are two walkways where people take parikramas or uh, pradakshina pata it is called as so in english we call it as circum circumambulation path so it followed the uh, those circumambulation path the structures the pillars which uh, the compound which followed that is called as a medhi okay there are two walkways in sanchi stupa one is at the uh, down level and one is at the second level they the the pillars which i am talking around they are called as vedika okay so uh and at the end i entered to a stupa with a gate that gate is called as torana this was also a uh this was also a replication from vedic architecture because torana was where uh, toranas were found in uh, vedic cities uh, which marked the entrance of a, uh, sorry vedic villages which marked the entrance of a village okay so uh, whenever these toranas are ending if you just see that uh, end in the plan uh, that whole uh, all four torana if you skip this circle in the middle they form a swastika okay this was how they used to plan it so i gave you the basic plan stupas have circular base they have a mound on top uh, chaityas are a u shaped hall uh, for worship and viharas are uh, montessoris to uh, stay uh, mo sorry mon uh, monasteries where uh, saints can stay or literally uh, dwell over there for a day or a night like that so hope this covered our buddhist architecture now your duty is to go and check out famous buddhist uh, monuments in uh, india and where are they located uh, any important things you got get regarding architecture we will i will teach you few more things when i uh, when we'll take the quiz so far so good we are going uh, all the best for your exams please follow the channel for upcoming videos and please let me know in the comment section what you need the next what all things you need in the next topic